Morning everybody, fantastic to see you all again. So I'm here with Pebbles and this is a bit of a different video for me actually. I wanted to talk about a struggle that I've had recently and that's with my creativity. I've really sort of doubted my images recently. You know, you see all these amazing images with this amazing weather and you just think, oh, am I good enough? Do I need to improve my photography? And I've got a little bit of imposter syndrome as well. So I thought it'd be good to talk about my journey over the last week or so, because I've thought about this quite a lot. I thought about social media, sharing images, and I thought I'd come for a walk with Pebbles, who's just been digging, <laughs> and we'll have a little bit of a chat. Come on, Pebs. Come on, you're going around that way, or that way. Pebbles, you're in the way. <laughs> so we recently had this amazing weather, and I don't know if um, you're in the UK, you managed to get out in it, the hoarfrost, but oh my word, it was incredible. And I managed to get out a couple of times, not as much as I'd hoped, and I went to the wrong place a couple of times, but I got some photos. When I got back, I was really pleased with. And then I didn't get to post them I, um, for a few days. And then in those few days, the conditions were incredible, but I was stuck inside. My back worsened, I couldn't get out, and I started looking at everyone's photos being posted on Twitter and I just thought, oh, it was just this real feeling of why have I not got that photo? And I really felt like I sort of missed out, I suppose. And my photos then became from this thing I was really proud of to that weren't good enough. And, you know, I'll show my photos, here they are. Um, and I look back at them now and, and, and I think, well, I was just stupid thinking that because they're, they're really good photos. I am really proud of them. But some of the other photos were just incredible. You know, these photos on Twitter were just so amazing. There was one particular one from Stuart that was just really, really good. And the thing is that you're not always going to go out and get these amazing photos. And I think that's where Instagram really isn't sometimes something that's fantastic. But I want to talk more about Instagram. So let's go a little bit further up the hill and we'll talk a little more. Come on, Pebs. So just whilst I'm walking up, um, it just occurred to me as well is that you look at your art all the time. So you look at your photos all the time, you get used to them. But when you look on Instagram or Twitter, you see that other person's photo for the first time. It has that wow impact. So you've got to remember that it doesn't, it not, isn't necessarily that your art isn't great. It's just that you're just getting used to it a little bit. And I thought that when I thought this a few weeks ago, I was just getting really down about my, my images and just not being that creative. And I posted something on Instagram. I posted this post here. And I mentioned these things and I'm not alone. I had the most responses from that than any other thing that I've ever posted on Instagram. So obviously, we all think the same. But in terms of Instagram, is it a good thing? Well, I think it is actually, and I'll explain that in a minute. So Pebbles has just, um, yeah, gone in a mud bath. <laughs> she stinks now. Um, she found a peat bog, basically. So I, I was mentioning Instagram and why I think sharing is important. Maybe not, not just Instagram. I think sharing per se is important. You know, just, just being able to share with other people. Quite often as well, I think there's this pluralistic ignorance where you, you think that you're having these problems but everybody's having these problems but they just don't share that <laughs> and i think that's what happened when i shared that i'm you know got a little bit of imposter syndrome my creativity is not great because you know i feel that nobody else is thinking that but actually everyone is thinking that but by sharing you, you you're you're getting a lot of good things so you're able to get criticism and positive criticism about your work and and hopefully that will improve you can also get some good feedback on your work, which can give you a positive thought about your work. And, and that did happen with my photos when I shared them. I got loads of really nice comments. Um, but also, there's some bad things about sharing as well. You know, I don't think that likes is a good thing. Seeing a like counter is not a good thing. Seeing how it did to last time, because there's so many external influences on that that change it, whether the algorithm changes or whatever else. I think, it's, I think it's also scary sharing your work sometimes because of those things we just mentioned that you know, you, you, you're worried that what 
that you're not good enough and, and that's certainly something that I think all the time um, amongst my you know peers and even sharing YouTube videos I think that and then it's time consuming to share your work you know spending a lot of time you're probably better going out in the amazing outdoor which is why we do this and that's gets back to a point that's most important with all of this and I realize that the reason that I do photography is the journey and not the destination and that's like a bit of a corny comment but the journey getting somewhere and and trying to go out and get that photo that's what's so exciting about photography for me that's what I get my buzz from and, and often you get a down feeling from getting back looking at your photos realizing they're not as good as what you expected then seeing other photos so the good part of it is what you need to remember and that's getting out with pebbles and seeing this amazing environment and I was here not too long ago shooting this in the most amazing conditions. I didn't do a video because I just wanted to concentrate on my photography. I was feeling a bit down about my creativity and I felt like video was probably a, po a problem of that. So I just wanted to come out and do photos. I'll share some of these photos now. It was a stunning inversion and it was great as well because I met somebody on that trip as well, another photographer and chatted to her and it was really, really nice. We shared experiences, she showed me some of her photos, I showed her some of mine and it was, it was fantastic. Right, where now Peb, shall we go down? Come on, let's go down. And this is one of the photos from that amazing morning, from the cloud where I just was. And this reminds me of why I do photography. I, you know, I'm, get, I'm lucky I get to print on this incredible printer here. Um, and that makes me happy, you know, to print and, and get something physical out of my photography makes me happy. I can always look at it and find fault with it and, and think that I can improve it in some way. But that is a good thing, really. That will hopefully allow me to improve my photography over time. So I'm going to be sort of continuing to post on Instagram and look at Instagram. But a lot of my inspiration comes from books, to be honest. And I like it when, you know, I can get a book like this one I've recently got from Finn Hobson and just browse it and get any inspiration from some of the amazing work that um, the photographers all around the world do. I've got another one that I look at all the time and I mentioned Alex, he, you know, he, He's, he, in my opinion, you know, is a photographer that I like. But I think you can gain inspiration from people. But I don't think you should worry that you're not going to be producing the same work as them. You've got to develop your own style. And I feel now a little bit more comfortable about that. I feel that, you know, ultimately, I'm going to be going forward, enjoying the things that I love, which is going outside, taking photos of the locations that I love, coming back and printing them. And I will know that I've improved because I can look back at Lightroom, I can go back through the photos and I can see, you know, I did it recently. I looked back at some of my early photos and saw how much I'd come on, my style had changed. Uh, and I feel comfortable about that. Uh, I do think that it's good to gain inspiration from people on Instagram and um, other places, but I don't think we should worry too much about our work being different than theirs because at the end of the day, that's what art is. So remember when you see all these good photos out there that you can't be everywhere. There's always gonna be a location that you go to at some point in the future where you get good conditions, you'll take some great photos. And I saw a quote recently which I thought was really good, which was, happiness is reality minus expectations. So don't set your expectations too high. I'm certainly not going to. I'm gonna go into the new year with fairly low expectations really. I'm gonna work hard at my art. I'm gonna do the best I can. And hopefully I'm gonna enjoy sharing it with everyone else and also enjoy those small improvements through the year. Before I go, I want to thank this week's sponsor and that is NordVPN. One of the things I know for sure is as landscape photographers, we travel, we go to different locations. And when you do that, it's really good to be able to use a VPN because when you're using public Wi-Fi, then you wanna make sure that all your data is as safe as possible and you don't get hacked or you know lose some of your data or somebody take over your phone. So using NordVPN is a secure way of doing that. It's super easy to do it on up to six devices and it's protected by a wall of encryption. The other thing is that you can 
pretend that you're back in the UK. So when I travel, I find that really useful when I, whether I want to just see the BBC website as it is from the UK, because it changes, it goes to .com rather than .co.uk, or I might want to just um, use my UK Netflix or um, Amazon Prime. And also, you can, you can look at Netflix and Amazon Prime as if you're in America from the UK. You've got to make sure that you're allowed to do that, but it's a fantastic way to use a VPN. So go to nordvpn.com forward slash Nigel to get a two-year plan with four months for free and a huge discount. And it's also risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Happy New Year, everybody, and until next Sunday, bye. <music>